After 53 years, we're finally going back to the moon. And this time, we're going around the far side. Welcome to Rocket Report 8.10. Four astronauts could break free of low Earth orbit in less than six months. The first crew to leave Earth orbit since Apollo. For those of us born after the moon landings, this is the moment we've been waiting for our whole lives. Yes, there are questions about cost and complexity. North Korea tested a powerful solid rocket motor, making their missiles faster to deploy. Astrobotic is testing moon landers in Norway. Ursa Major broke ground on a massive rocket test site in Colorado. SpaceX launched the first satellites in the Pentagon's missile defense mega constellation. The commercial satellite market keeps shifting to low Earth orbit. Putin wants Russia to build more rocket engines and compete globally. India scored a contract to launch a space debris cleanup mission. The satellite will inspect and image orbital junk in 2027. Russia's 300th cargo mission reached the space station. SpaceX learned that metal heat shield tiles don't work so well. Ceramic tiles win again for surviving re-entry heat. The next Starship flight will test new heat shield materials. Starship version 3 with upgraded engines launches next year. The Trump administration wants to cancel SLS after two more flights. But Congress might compromise by canceling just the expensive upper stage. Commercial upper stages could replace it and save billions. This would also eliminate the need for a costly new launch tower. Only five geosynchronous satellites launched commercially this year, down from 21 in 2015 across multiple providers. The focus has shifted to broadband constellations in low orbit. Launch capacity is now dominated by smaller communications satellites. Coming up, Russia launches a GLONASS navigation satellite September 13th. SpaceX flies more Starlink satellites the same day and a Cygnus cargo mission heads to the space station September 14th. The space industry is busier than ever, but the big moment is still that return to the moon. A new generation will witness humanity's next giant leap, and maybe this time we'll stay. The future of space exploration is almost here. If you're excited about humanity's return to space, please like this video. Subscribe for more space news and rocket updates. Tell me how you feel about this new space race in the comments below. Are you ready for the moon, Mars, or beyond? Thank you for all your support for my channel. See you in the next Rocket Report.